Here's a recreation of the Squid Game cookie game where you have to carve out a cookie or you die. So here the goal is to punch out the right shape just like you're punching out the shape of the cookie and it's got to be a perfect match. If it is a perfect match, when this on and off switch gets activated, these cannons will drop down as a quality check, making a straight bridge so that spiny gets killed giving you a key. If you leave a brick unbroken, then when the cannons fall, it'll be too high obstructing the spiny from crossing. And if you break one too many bricks, then the cannon goes too low and the spiny gets stuck. On to level 2, which is the same triangle but upside down now. Here you're going to break it the same way and the cannons will come from below giving you a perfect fit quality check. If it fits perfectly, these boxes give the spiny a straight pathway to giving you a key. If you leave a brick, then that cannon doesn't float all the way up. And when the water goes back down, the cannon is going to obstruct the pathway and the spiny cannot cross. And if you break one too many bricks here, then the box and the cannon float up too high and they get stuck up there. And now the spiny gets caught below and can't cross again. Brilliant. In the last level here, you have to recreate this circle or diamond shape. And you need to get both spinies, meaning two keys, to continue. So here we carve out the top and the bottom. First, the quality check from below comes, and then we get the quality check from above. If you do both correctly, you see both spinies cross, and you get one and two keys to go inside the door. This next part is a check here to make sure you have the second key, which boom, teleports you to the end. There's a bonus pipe there. Now if you only get one key, as shown here, enter the door, you can't get in that lockbox, which drops you to baby jail. Alright, I need to go sleep. Thanks for watching.